We do know that the universe we're in had some kind of a spectacular beginning point of inflation and expansion and that the universe has not been stagnant. It's been developing over time. And that's where the wonderful time machine that telescopes are uh, comes into play because we can actually look into space at different distances and that tells us things about different epochs of cosmic time over the 13.8 billion year history of the universe. A century ago, there was a debate about whether the universe had always been here in a static situation or whether our universe had a recognizable beginning. And as the telescopes began to get more sophisticated, especially in, in the last century and the century before, the observations began to indicate evidence that our universe had this spectacular beginning. I think of astronomy as kind of like a symphony orchestra, where the astronomer is like the conductor who needs some music from the violins, some from the trumpets, some from the percussion, some from the woodwinds, and puts it all together to produce a beautiful symphony. Well, astronomers use different kinds of telescopes this way. We need telescopes that are good in visible light and ultraviolet light observations like the Hubble Space Telescope to complement observations from infrared observing telescopes like the Webb Telescope, like telescopes on the ground that are doing their own types of observations. Together, we astronomers use this whole spectrum of information to tell us a much bigger piece of information about galaxies, stars, and star formation than we could ever get from any one of these observatories on their own. The whole array are giving us the symphony of information that we need when we're looking at something like distant galaxies or even the activity in our own solar system. I will be interested in what astronomers around the world are going to be doing in the future with telescopes like Webb and how we are going to take information from new telescopes and correlate it with information from existing telescopes and from observations we've already taken from past telescopes to put the puzzle pieces together. When I was a student, we didn't even know there were planets orbiting stars other than our sun. We knew about our solar system, of course, and we suspected there might be planets around other stars, but we couldn't detect them. We didn't have the technology. Now we have telescopes and techniques that are revealing thousands of planets around other stars in our galaxy. We call these exoplanets because they're outside of our own solar system. And statistically, we know now that most stars have at least one planet. So that means since there are hundreds of billions of stars in our galaxy, there must be hundreds of billions of planets. I'm curious to know what those planets are like. We astronomers are going to be taking information from different kinds of telescopes and understanding more about the nature of these exoplanets, what they're like, are they similar or different to our own solar system? And are any of them particularly habitable, potentially, for life? Thank you.